Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today, part number three about Xiaomi Mi Pro 2 scooter. Originally, I planned only three parts about scooter, but I think it's going to be four. The whole idea of me filming uh, unboxing uh, putting together and first impressions is to give you opportunity to see scooter from my eyes not reviewers that familiar with a scooter but someone like me who bought it for the first time and what to expect and what to not expect and how to deal with those easy or frustrated frustrating things that you find while you're assembling riding and getting familiar with the scooter so i hope this video will be really helpful because it's my first video when i voice frustrations about uh, my um, experience so far look please don't understand me don't misunderstand me i do love this scooter but it comes with its own package and it's either me being unfamiliar or not expecting what i should expect but please hear me out so my first part was unboxing and um, if you didn't see my video i'll put it on a card above uh, the second video was uh, how to assemble the scooter and what to expect when you're assembling a scooter it will be in another card above uh, and this is the third part that's supposed to be riding the first experience but you cannot ride the scooter until you connect it to application and possibly do update and watch safety video and this is where i got seriously stuck so please do me a favor before we start can you please um hit thumbs up for this video uh, it will help me to help with my videos other people uh, out there uh, viewers and people who get frustrated trying to resolve the same problems and other videos uh, on my channel also if you like this video or any other videos on my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any other future videos on my channel now uh yes i unpacked scooter i assembled scooter and i was ready to go for a ride and i thought so far so good and it's gonna be a uh, quite big joy and i turned it on and it started beeping on me so i keep reading instructions and say well scan that barcode it wants the application and so on all right i scan the barcode and my familiar uh, xiaomi application came up i do have uh, quite a lot of xiaomi product i've got some um, uh, kids uh, camera i've got another uh, web camera i've got doorbell i have a uh, central uh, I think it's called Gateway module. I've got a couple of bulbs and um, all of that. And what I learned before, nothing of that would work together until you assign in settings that Xiaomi in Xiaomi applications that you in mainland China or China mainland. And look, that was easy. That was done long time ago. And this time around, doesn't matter what I used to do with that scooter, that application would not see it. So I went to Bluetooth and I saw that my phone's Bluetooth can see a scooter. So I tried to pair from there and message was popping up. Uh, the pairing requires application. So I realized that there's no technical problem between scooter and my phone because my phone can see scooter and scooter can see my phone. But for some reason, the Xiaomi application would not um register my phone so i start reading forums and that's where my first time consuming a frustrating experience uh, came because look you pay quite a significant amount of dollars and there's a product in front of you that you cannot start using until condition met and look i would understand if it will be simple uh, instruction what to do with it but Xiaomi not helping you it says you need to get that scooter into application and the funny bit is in that application you got identity a i've got two identities because my smart bulbs not working through uh, mainland china so i've got identity via singapore 
and that Xiaomi application would pick one set of devices uh, that could be used only through China and other set of devices that could be used only outside China and when you're trying to merge them together they're not working you cannot merge them together and that's my first frustration with applications so this could be a brilliant scooter but if you cannot start using it it's kind of pointless so long story short uh, I could not pair um, scooter via application I started researching what do you do to reset scooter I thought maybe you know I was unlucky that was previously used even though all the stickers are on scooter so it doesn't look like used so I found how to reset to factory default and by the way if you need to reset to factory default so here's the setting you need to turn scooter off press the brake and with other hand press together throttle and power button and hold it until red number 14 comes on display and it beeps three times that would reset scooter to factory default and hopefully resolve other issues that you may experience i'm just saying it because um i did that probably 10 15 times nothing helped so i moved to my singapore profile so i thought well maybe like with other um, Xiaomi equipment uh, it just doesn't work with the Chinese mainland or if I start with Singapore would not use with Singapore would not work with Singapore and I need to revert back to Chinese so um, repeated everything uh, with the Singapore and again nothing was working and I went back to uh, uh, forums and they are mentioning and there's no clear answer whether it's true or not there's a mentioning that uh, some of the Xiaomi scooters are destined to certain regions in the world and I'm not sure if it's true or not I'm just saying what forums say I cannot trust everything on the internet and let's say look if you assign it to any European country you can register it and then can revert back to China if you wish and so yeah you can reset them from Europe and go back to China and register there. I say, all right, I've got nothing to lose. So I pick a uh, uh, random country in Europe. Um, I think I end up with Germany. And as soon as I revert my application to Germany, it sold scooter straight away. So scooter, and the first thing it's asked me to do is to update a scooter firmware. Uh, and this is where second gotcha came along. So I set my phone to time out as a screen within 30 seconds. So when screen times out, the phone goes into sleep mode and sleep would put application to sleep and disconnect Bluetooth. So every time I was leaving update firmware without watching the phone, the update would get interrupted and everything disconnected and I need to start from beginning. So just to save yourself time i know it's it's annoying but uh sit and watch the circle go around it's like watching pen dry but i guess you know what if you would like to um, avoid those mistakes that i made um you better keep touching the screen for refresh so it won't disconnect from bluetooth so i did the whole update and it came back and um start configuring the scooter and the moment I touch scooter, I'd say you must, you must watch safety video before you continue anything. So I'll say, well, all right, safety video. I mean, like, come on, it's, it's a scooter. What, what, you, you know, what you expect from there? So I put safety video on and went to um, continue doing my business. I don't have all time in the world to watch that video, even though it's, I think it's only two or four minutes, something like that. And guess what? They know what you're doing and again that video is not allowed you to fast forward that video is not allow you not to watch as leave your phone you know how youtube you can keep your video running it won't put your screen in the sleeping mode that video bypasses all of that so the moment you're not watching uh it will comply with your phone timeout and it will turn off and again you need to reset up everything from beginning so when you're doing firmware update and when you watch video please save yourself time save yourself time and effort and watch the screen and accept everything when you finish 
So then I finished everything, my scooter appeared on the screen, everything configured and I said, well, go back to China and configure it as a, as a setting, Origins China. The reason why I want to do so, because I still need to control my cameras, my doorbell, my other equipment, because everything registered in, in China mainland and I cannot register, register in any other country because my gateway wouldn't work with it. That's the fun of using Xiaomi product. Uh, or perhaps maybe a majority of the Chinese products. So I went to change to Chinese mainland and same again. It just for the life of me would not see the scooter. So long story short, um, that is my current frustration that is you may, if you already have Xiaomi profile to fix the situation that you don't see your scooter you have to go and assign different country or different region and you configure it there and unfortunately you have number of profiles in xiaomi application and every time you change profile you need to re-log into xiaomi applications which is pain in any part of your body my body anybody um that really that is really frustrating um so at the moment I've got Xiaomi application with majority of my appliances in China mainland that wouldn't work anywhere. I've got Xiaomi application with the Singapore service that all my smart lighting controlled in would not work in any other region. And I've got my Xiaomi scooter that is registered for Germany and every time I need either of those I'm changing profile. Well, this is a very negative side of the scooter that I'm not sure how, you know, suppress that unhappiness I've got on me. I know it's, it's a small thing, but you know, after creating such a magnificent product, that is huge inconvenience for those that are trying to register. And mind you, I'm very technically minded. It just, just imagine that someone with no technical skills buying scooter or very technical, a little technical skills, um, you know, even from company perspective, it would overwhelm the support line claiming the scooter is faulty and can't be registered and there will be a first line support troubleshoot, which is annoying already. Anyway, uh, enough of this rant. I just wanted to help those people that cannot register the scooter and start riding it. This is your pathway to register your scooter and finally enjoy it. So, we've got part one of a uh, series about the scooter unboxing, this is a part one. Part two is assembling it together. Part four, part three, frustrations uh, uh, during the setup. And part four, hopefully we'll be happy riding and I need to choose a nice spot to go for a ride and uh, put my earbuds on so I can comment while I'm riding what it is and what it isn't. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for some or many. If you have any questions, please comment, co put comments down below. Subscribe to my channel, smash that uh, notification bell, and I'll see you in next videos. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.